okay vishnu in the last class we discuss about the basic concept molecule concept right so uh, i just gave you a one question and this question is saying suppose uh, if i have given you okay i have given you how much hydrogen gas 40 gram if i gram. have a 48 yeah. gram hydrogen and i have a h2o2 is 200 gram right so if you have such things yeah so you have to tell me the h2o amount okay so before uh, you okay. are coming to that so you should know first standard reaction h2 plus o2 it is giving you h2o it is balanced reaction no it is not so we have to apply two here so now o2 is here but hydrogen is four so you have to apply two here as well now it is a balance if it is a balanced reaction so it is a standard reaction okay 2 into 2 it will become 4 gram because one hydrogen is 1 gram so it is 4 so it means it, it is becoming 4 gram so it is 4 gram of hydrogen oxygen is how much because one is 16 so it will become 32 so when 4 gram of hydrogen and 32 gram of oxygen combining then you are getting water is how much one h2o is 36 so you are getting 38 gram of water right very simple so this is the standard conditions now 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 okay so h2 and uh, o2 you Isn't have 36 and 38 30 30 oh, 36 36 36 yeah sorry 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 my bad my bad yeah it is 36 yeah, because 32 yeah. plus 4 yeah it is 36 gram yes okay now i have to find out which one is excess and which one is limiting reagent okay don't you think uh, like 4 and it is 32 how many times higher it is if it is 4 so it is yeah 8 times right like 4 is a 32 so if it is 40 if it is 40 so 8 times of 40 8 times of 40 it will become how much can we say 320 yeah if it is 4 gram So it is three thirty-two gram. So if hydrogen, I am giving in the question forty gram. So obviously your oxygen should be three twenty gram, na. But in the question they are giving you only two hundred, only two hundred. So which one is limiting reagent? Uh, hydrogen is limiting. Vishnu, just tell me one thing. hydrogen when hydrogen is 4 gram so oxygen is 32 gram right yeah so now tell me when hydrogen is 40 gram so how much oxygen should be there 320 gram na because if oh, yeah, i if, if, if i multiply by 10 so obviously it should be 320 gram it should be but in the That's question but in That's the but in the question i have already given you only 200 gram it means i am giving you 120 g less so which is which is a limiting reagent oxygen yeah and it how much limiting it is how much lesser 120 g uh, is 120. less so yes oxygen is the limiting yeah. reagent but sometime people say but sir how like yes you have find out very quickly because you have experience but as a student how can we easily know which one is limiting and which one is not okay just tell me okay just see the standard thing in the standard reaction can we say 4 g of hydrogen combined with 32 g of oxygen can we say 4 g of hydrogen is combined with 32 g of oxygen we already know that am i right because of the standard condition standard condition we already know that na vishnu Vishnu, sorry, I was on mute. Um, yeah, yeah, I was not. So was four, muted. four um, gram of was... H two combined with thirty two gram of H two. So one gram of H two combined with how much oxygen? Thirty two divided by four. Simple unitary method. Eight. So it become the eight gram of O two, right? So it means one gram of hydrogen combined with eight gram of O two. So for how much you have to find out? so you have to find out for 80 g so for, for 40 g of hydrogen mm -hmm. will combine how much 8 into 
40. So 8 into 40 will become how much? 4, 8, ja, 32, 320 gram. 32. Got it? It is the same which I just told you. So 40 combined with 320. So we have find out the same thing in the unitary method. It means 40 gram of hydrogen combines with 320 gram of 320 gram of oxygen. 320 gram of oxygen. Yeah. But in the question, how much they have given to you? Only 200. So if it is only 200, so obviously oxygen is limiting reagent, right? Yeah. So when it is combining, so which one is going to be left? Oxygen or the hydrogen? Oxygen. Vishnu, you just said oxygen is limiting hydrogen. reagent. Hydrogen. If, which is limiting, it is, com is, the... it, is, it is completely combined. Na? Which is excess that is remaining behind. Jo jada hota hai, wo reh jata hai. Which is higher, it is always going to be left behind. Okay. Got it? Mm -hmm. So it means now, yeah. and I told you, if you want to find out the H2O, so always related with the thing, which is completely utilized. It means oxygen. Oxygen is limiting reagent. So because in the question, just read out the question, okay, what yeah. you have to find out? H2O, na? So just apply the relation of H2O. Just yeah. tell me. Oxygen is limiting reagent. So apply relation between this and this. Okay, tell me. 32 gram of O2 is giving how much water? 36 gram, right? 32 mm, gram of I oxygen. See, I... So one gram of oxygen giving you how much water? 36. Firstly, for finding out one gram, we always have to divide. 36 upon 32 gram of H2O. So in the question, how much we have to find out? For how much? In the question, for how much we have to find out? We have to find out for 200 gram, na? So now, whenever you have find out for one gram, then you can quickly find out for whatever they are asking. So for 200 gram of oxygen, you will get the relation 36 divided by 32 into 200 of H2. So what is the answer you are getting? Just do it. 36 divided by 32 and it is 200. What is the answer you are getting? So answer is 225 of H2. Okay, so you can see, yes, that is the remaining behind. Like how much H2? Uh, I mean the 225 it is. Yeah. So it is combining with 225 gram. Wait a second. It is impossible. Wait, why? Eight second, eight second. Eight second, right. just. That's fine. Do I make mistake? Okay, so 225 gram of H2O is formed. Okay, fine. It means, it means whenever any reactant is given to you, so you have to see you have to see only the which one is in excess and which one is in limiting reagent. Okay, so which one is excess reagent and which one is limiting and after finding out the limiting reagent just related with the product one, you will automatically yeah. get the product. Okay, like that much amount 225 gram. Are you uh, are you comfortable what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I, I'm just writing like the steps for like okay. my notes right now. Okay. And even you can apply your senses as well. Like it is the if we ha, I just apply my sense and I directly find out 320. Common sense. But yeah, if you if you want to find out the uh, like for the calculation term, so you can apply unitary method. Mm -hmm. Four gram is giving 330 gram of O2. So one gram will give that much. So one gram of H2 will give you that much. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now my next question to you. You already know the basic reaction C plus O2. It is giving you CO2, right? I'm not telling mm -hmm. you the standard uh, that thing, how much mass. But in the question, if I am saying, if I am saying 60 gram of carbon is combining with, I'm, I'm just making the question. 
is combining with just say any number just say any number random 25. number <laughs> okay 25 is too less okay okay i am just taking okay 80. okay so uh, 60 gram of carbon is combining with 80 gram of oxygen then you have to tell me how much co2 is going to be formed okay okay c so, plus o so you are saying 110 is your answer mm-hmm. okay so yeah. 100 110 gram is your answer yeah okay so we can say one thing 60 gram of carbon is combined with 80 gram of o2 so you have to find out so one thing car one carbon is 12 gram you know it yeah and uh, oxygen is how much oxygen is 32 gram 32 so 12 yeah. gram plus 32 gram it is going to give rise 44 44 gram 44. it is the standard conditions right okay yeah so if it is 60 gram if it is 80 gram see 12 and it is 32 it is approximately three times yeah i'm just using my sense 12 and 32 it is approximately three times so it means if carbon is 60 so oxygen should be around one nahi oxygen should be around 180 gram should be yeah so oxygen is very very less oxygen yeah. is very less so can we say oxygen is a limiting reagent yeah yeah it is so we have already find out oxygen is limiting reagent and we already know if we know the limiting reagent we can easily find out the answer okay see oxygen is limiting reagent and we have to find out how much co2 will be formed so take the standard condition can we say 32 gram of oxygen is combining with 44 gram of co2 according to standard right we know that yeah i got, i got this question right okay so 1 gram of oxygen is giving you how much 44 divided by 32 gram of co2 so we have yeah. got for one Along oxygen yeah Along and now mm-hmm. and they are asking for 80 gram so 80 gram of o2 will be formed by 44 divided by 32 into 100 80 80 you will get how much you just got 110 110 mm-hmm. so this is your amount of co2 easy easy so whenever yeah, yeah. whenever we are okay one day a student asked to me so why we are making a relation with the limiting reagent why not with the excess reagent like why always we are taking only the use of limiting reagent why can't we make relation of excess reagent with the product can you answer that it won't work it will not work but but why it is not working why because it, the limiting reagent doesn't really have a relationship with the um product because because in the excess reagent some amount is going to be left over some exactly. amount will be, that's why that's why it is not going to give complete contribution in the product na so we are yeah. taking only that thing which is 100% they utilize to give the product yeah and that is only the limiting reagent got it mm-hmm Okay. Just give me one second. Okay. So, I guess it is uh, did such type of question it is completely fine to you. Yeah, I need more practice. Just give me some more questions to do and I'll do it. Okay, surely. So, okay. Uh, I just want to ask like okay, uh hydrogen you have you have Okay, no. No, no, no. I am not taking the hydrogen and carbon because we have already taken that. Now I am taking suppose if you have a nitrogen gas and if you have a hydrogen gas. So nitrogen gas and hydrogen gas or, or you you know it is forming the ammonia which is NH3. so nitrogen gas is combining with the hydrogen gas and it is forming the ammonia right so we mm-hmm. have to multiply here by 3 so n2 plus ka 3 h2 it is going to form the uh, 2 nh3 just tell me it is balanced or not check it carefully mm-hmm. it is balanced so is is the 2 applying to the entire equation on the, the right hand side 
but everything is balanced vishnu no no, no. Uh, 28 plus uh, everything is already balanced nitrogen is 2 like n2 3h2 uh, so see nitrogen has a oh oh ha oh. huh, it is balanced see 2 and 3 hydrogen is 6 Three and two hydrogen is six. Two nitrogen, two nitrogen. Fine. Yeah. So, so is is, is it a, so two is applying to N N and NH three. Yes. Yes. Okay. So this and, okay. this two is going N and hydrogen, both of them. Okay. Good. That's what I thought. Okay. okay. So it is a balance reaction. Whenever we apply standard condition only in balance or unbalance. a balance balance one only okay you just can't apply randomly okay fine so if it is the it is the balance reaction now i am asking you okay if nitrogen is if nitrogen is 70 g no 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 just take any random data tell me How much should I take? Okay, I am taking two eighty gram. Okay, so I am taking if if nitrogen is two eighty gram. So now tell me, tell me how much hydrogen should I take so that it can completely react with the hydrogen and and then after combining how much product it will form? Did you get my question? I just said yeah. if I have the two eighty gram of nitrogen, so you have to take a hydrogen amount that is completely reacting with the nitrogen, and after combining that, tell me the amount of ammonia as well. So I am giving you so two eighty grams of nitrogen. Nitrogen is combining with fill in the blanks of uh, uh, amount of hydrogen, and it is giving you fill in the blanks of ammonia. So how much? both of them okay, so and two... remember remember here there is no excess there is no limiting because i am te already telling you it is completely okay. reacting so mm -hmm. use the standard reaction okay it's okay nitrogen is uh, see according to the standard condition uh, vishnu nitrogen is how much nitrogen is 28 g right Because one nitrogen is fourteen to N two is twenty eight gram. A uh, one high it is yeah. six. So one hydrogen is one gram. So three H two is six gram. It's sixty. Twenty eight and is twenty eight oh. gram of nitrogen is combining with six gram of hydrogen. So it is giving you how much? It is seventeen ammonia. So 60. it will become the thirty four. Fourteen. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, thirty four gram of ammonia they yeah. are forming. Right. Okay. Fine. Don't you think twenty eight is two at twenty? It is the ten times. <laughs> it is standard. Yeah, it is the according. It's, it's so, just sixty. Yeah. So if it is ten times, so obviously it should also be ten times for completely reacting it. If it yeah. is sixty, so it should also be. Yeah. So it will become the three forty. And that's three hundred forty. Okay. Since very simple common question, thay. Okay. Very simple. So such type of yeah, question got, can yeah. can you do it? Easily. Yeah, I can. Okay. Just math. In the yeah, simple mathematics. In the last class, which I remember, I gave you some question on the column question. You remember column questions, like oh, in which you I have like to find. Those. Yeah, you have to find out the what. You have to find out the empirical formula and then the molar formula. Okay, before the real formula. Yeah, before uh, talking about that, I want to tell you something. Whenever you have any gas. and if it is written over here stp standard temperature and condition always remember one mole of gas 22.4 liters i told you this thing you did oh okay okay fine fine then fine <laughs> okay i thought i didn't tell you that okay so remember okay always so it means if i am saying if i am saying i have one mole of hydrogen gas it is at stp so how much volume it is occupying One mole of hydrogen gas it is twenty two point four liter. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Suppose if I am saying I have five mole of nitrogen gas at STP. 
5 mole yeah. of nitrogen so how much volume it will occupy how much volume it will occupy 5 n2 it's just 22.4 times 5 yes you don't have to see it is hydrogen it is nitrogen or it is anything you don't have to see whether it is of any gas you just have to see the uh, like what is the number of mole in front of that okay so it will become 5 into 22.4 liter okay so 5 into 22.4 liter got it yeah okay yeah fine okay now i am yeah. just giving you the it is the like, like we we are going to cover this chapter okay this chapter is almost over carbon hydrogen and oxygen okay i am giving you the percentage composition percentage composition it is 40.68 it is 5 point you can use your calculator if you want to 54 54.22 okay percentage composition okay atomic mass you already know atomic mass uh, you already know okay after that i guess you can do it just tell me the empirical formula okay see okay so it is atomic mass so so we can say 40.6 is divided by 12 5.08 divided by 1 and 54.22 divided by 16 right so obviously i will get the relative number of moles oh it is how much 3.4 i guess 5.08 and it is how much 3.4 am i right okay now yeah. so if you want to convert what is which is the least number 3.4 3.4 so obviously we have to make a whole number na so 3.4 divided by 3.4 it is equal to 1 5.08 divided by 3.4 so it is 1.5 right okay 3.4 divided by 3.4 so how much you will get it is 1 right I multiplied so, them by two. Yeah, so. one, one, one point five, one. Multiply by. I, I multiply by two. Yeah, but you said one. You said just a few uh, minutes back. Uh, divide by. Okay. But that was that was relative number of moles. Okay, okay. So two, two, and two. So it become two. It become three and become two. So can we say that C two H three O two? Am I right? I I said I said that. Okay. And that. what is the mass? What is the mass of that? If you, if I want to ask. And suppose the real, the real compound has a mass of one one eight. So you you have to find out n n factor as well. I mean the n. Yeah, it so is, it's forty seven as the to total mass. Forty seven. Oh my god. Yeah. You know, some some mistake you just did. Oh, that's wrong. That's uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's. It's um fifty nine. Yes, two into twelve plus three into one plus two into sixteen. So you will get what fifty mm nine. -hmm. So it is the empirical mass and it is yeah. the real mass. So what is the n? What should be the n? Two. Uh, two. Because it is the empirical na and the real mass is so it means you have to multiply it by two. Then it is automatically become one one eight na. So n is equal yeah. to two here. Are you getting? So the yeah. real real compound is equal to n into my empirical formula or empirical formula divided by n. Um, empirical formula times n. Yes, multiply by n. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yeah, of course I did it correctly. Okay, so it is about the basic concept. I just don't know of... how to add. <laughs> okay. See, one more thing is mole fraction. I guess I told you about the mole fraction one day. I told you probability, the desired divide by total. Yeah. You remember? Okay. Yeah. Suppose, and then one minus. And then one minus. Yes. Suppose if I if you have, um, what should I say? Suppose if you have the sodium, okay, and the sodium number of moles I am giving you five. Okay, and you have put into the water, and the water number of moles are I am giving you it is twenty. So can you find out the mole fraction of Na? And mole fraction of water? Can you find out? See very easy. Mole fraction of Na. 
so num i told you na number of moles of na divide by total number of moles na plus h2 yeah. same thing number of moles of h2o divide jo chahiye which we want we have to write in numerator and divide by total i told you one day okay h2o plus yeah. na so here what is the number of mole of na it is 5 divide by it is total number of mole is how much 25 so 525 it will become 5 by 1 by 5 right if it is 1 by 5 so obviously it should be 4 by 5 i told you both it is equal to 1 but still hello? we have to calculate yes 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 hello hello my voice is coming or not hello if water water number of mole is 20 so total 5 plus 20 it become 25 so obviously it is 4 by 5 right vishnu vishnu is it fine hello yeah sorry 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 it was disconnected yeah it's fine yeah what i was saying see you have to you can easily find out the mole fraction right okay what is the formula of mole by the way i told you given mass upon molar mass given mass upon molar mass so it means if i give you the given mass so you can find out the mole fraction of anything suppose if i yeah. say I suppose, suppose if I have the aluminium, okay, aluminium molar mass, you already know it is twenty-seven, okay, you know it. Okay. Yeah. I yeah. Am, okay. Okay. So I am giving you aluminium given mass. Aluminium given mass is given to you, um, fifty-four gram, and you have put into the water. okay and uh, water mass a uh, water given mass is given to you suppose 180 g so can you find out the mole fraction of aluminum yes find okay. out mole fraction mole of is, okay so there's two cuz 27 times 2 is 54 what wait Aluminium. There's no. There's no aluminium in. I'm confused. I told you the formula is you have to find out first number of mole. Find big value. Two. You want to find out. So what is the number of moles of aluminium? Two. Okay, it is two. Given mass of and what is the number of moles of water? What do you mean number of moles? You have to find out the number of moles of water given mass upon molar mass. Given, given mass, mass is one eighty, and divided by molar mass is how plus, much? Ah, uh, eighteen. Ha. Huh, so how much you will get? Ten. Yes. So two and ten, you get the number of moles, right? So yeah. mo molar mass is aluminium. You have to find out. Twenty. Twenty percent. So, so, so no percent. Don't say percent. It is ratio. Oh. Like two divided by total two plus ten. Oh. So, okay, so oh. two plus twelve, so it is one by six. Okay. Where? Wait, wait, how? That makes there's no aluminium in H two O. What? I told you it is like a probability. If there is a dice, if I ask you what is the probability of getting five, so you will say one by six, na? Oh yeah. Same thing. So whatever I am asking for, you have to write in numerator, and in denominator you have to write total number of moles. Okay, wait, wait, wait! Don't move. I'm, I'm gonna copy this in my notes. Okay. Okay. And, and if I am asking you the other one, so just, just if it is one by six, so other is five by six, definitely. If I say how much probability for getting five, you say one by six. If I say how much probability for not getting five, so you will one say one minus. Ha ha. So you will get the five by six. So same thing is here. If you want to find out for H two O, so H two I am asking, so you have to write down above ten. Divide by total, so it will become ten by twelve, right? So it is five by six, as I said. Are you getting? Okay. Yeah. So, so total mole fraction is always one. 
like aluminium plus H two. Can you just see one by six plus five by six? So total mole fraction is always one. Mole fraction mm -hmm. means one component divided by total. Mm -hmm. So Vishnu, how will you define the mole fraction? The probability of what you can get a mole in probability. The no probability. I just told just for helping you. In chemistry, you don't have to say the probability. Okay, the I, chance. Yeah, the the number of moles of component divided by the total number of moles. Okay? Oh wait, 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna write that now. Okay, so two into. Suppose 10, if you are making a tea, tea, like sugar and water, and you want a number of uh, you want the mole fraction of sugar, so you will say number of mole of sugar divided by sugar number of mole plus water number of mole. Okay. So number of sugar moles. So number of desired moles or something. Ha! Huh, divided by total number of mole. Okay. Got it now. One sec. I'm gonna copy that right now. So with that, your complete chapter is over. Okay. And the and remember, uh, one day I took your class on normality, molality. Okay. That is mm -hmm. also a very important question, right? Like equivalent mass, I told you when you were confused mm -hmm. in n factor, I told you n factor the charge, HCl, NaOH. Mm -hmm. Remember, what is mm -hmm. the n n factor for AlCl3? Uh, it's minus. It's a it's it's a base, right? Uh, it's a salt. A, it's a salt. Okay. A A Al3 plus 3 Cl minus. So three, na? Three. 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 Oh, Simple. the balance electrons, yeah. Okay, so it's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so Vishnu, it is about the complete chapter. Okay, in the next class, we will start your the your curriculum. So with that, mm -hmm. I'm just finishing the this chapter. If you have any doubt in this chapter, because uh, recording will be available to you, okay? The significant okay. number, moles, uh, all these normality, molality, molarity, okay, mole fraction, it is very important topics, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so see you in the next class. Okay, fine. Yep, bye. Okay, bye bye.